We just climbed all the way up to do upper and middle black for the first time for me. And actually this is gonna be my first ride on the Yeti in the Pisgah Forest. The, long story short, the Bronson's already gone and we're about to hit the, one of the best descents in Pisgah. Got a few people with me. You have to wait for this guy. But, oh, okay, so before you get to that guy, you're actually gonna get to this guy. Hey, hey, hey. Actually, hold on. Obviously, this is Seth. This is Seth. This is Dave from Cane Creek. And then this is Tyler. He's just he's just from Canton, North Carolina. <laughs> but we're gonna do some follow cam all the way to the bottom. Hope you guys enjoy. Buckle up because we're gonna be pedaling a little harder. We're not gonna be touching those brakes. 16 seconds. Well, we're gonna see today because I'm actually gonna be seeing Seth's pace on <laughs> lower. And that's gonna be... I'm glad I got 29 with the long travel. I love lower. <laughs> I love lap. On lower, it's not all about going as fast as you can. It's about catching all the lines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And not getting shit on the berms that don't catch you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. There's, it's like a steep corner flat. <sighs> full of creek. There are quite a few there. There's no catch berm besides on the right. On the left, nothing. You're just there are a couple of seconds on this trail. We're going as fast as you can. Just like this. This going to be uh, Seth. Dave and then Tyler from Canton. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Just kind of stay tight as possible. Tyler from Canton. It makes it more interesting when it's just Tyler from Canton. I mean, are you technically from Canton? Or are you from another Canton? Okay. You better catch up. Oh man, I'm loving this bike. Nice little bit of flowing trail here. There's a switchback coming up that is really, really aggressive. I really hope I don't smash my bike up for the first time on the switchback. Oh. Feels good though, great day out here. Leaves are just falling. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh. Yes. Ah, I missed it. Oh, Tyler's already down. Hold up. I made the corner. Yeah, come on. Oh. Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, come on. That was a pretty sharp one. Okay, so I'll have to work on that switchback. Yeah. And then he fell right afterwards. <laughs> that corner back there is definitely very OTB worthy. Uh, but now here we're getting some trail here. All right, pick it up. Pick it up. Here's that jump. Oh my God, could you go any slower, Tyler? Come, come on, Dave, pick it up. <laughs> pick it up. Dave actually has done a bit, a bit of racing, and we're kind of all right in that uh, 30, 39 expert class skill set, so it's exciting. Uh, I should be riding with three guys who are kind of in the same skill set. Pretty cool. Oh, here's the lily pad coming up on the switchback up here. It's pretty cool. Oh, whoo. Great trail. Nice flow. Few first couple rides. This is the official first ride on the on the Yeti. The video you guys just saw when I was at Canuga is probably the that was the last ride I got on it with Alex and Seth. So it's nice to be in Pisgah and like being on a real race bike has been it's a great opportunity. I'm really stoked for um, what this bike brings to the table for me. Uh, it feels good. You can feel that the 29 rolls over the trail uh, a lot better, or a lot smoother, like less, less jarring than the 27.5. A little less playful, but I think in time I'll be able to rock this 29 just like I smash out the, uh, oh, smash out the, uh, uh, all the trails on the 27.5. Cockpit, cockpit's feeling pretty good. Okay, here we go. Kind of letting open the brakes now. 
nice warm up area here. Excited. Very nice. Very cool. Nothing like some good single track and the boys out on the trail. I think we're the first couple days of October and the weather is just perfect to have full face gloves, shorts and pads on. So, this is an interesting one. Ooh, 29 hand on all this like it ain't nothing. Like it ain't nothing. Man, what a great bike. On the paddle up, I really was feeling strong paddling. I didn't die too much, but also I just liked riding a lot better when it's cooler outside. I overheat pretty easy, so I probably had something to do with my Dunkin' Donuts obsession, but wow, it's a great trail. Whew. Okay. Oh. That was a good line. Hello, Camp McAfee. Look at a Campy Craft. Oh, Campy Craft. I mean, it was just flowing here. Oh, I like how they did sideways stacked rocks in these uh, grade reversals in the creeks. Like, that's gonna be some long lasting stuff that always stays good. Oh, here we go. A little more open. Yeah, let this bike open up some. Oh, an hour. We're definitely opening it up now. flat corner Whew. oh man look at Seth he's sounds like a whole switch back ahead Whew. there he is little ridgeline style action there Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. I said, oh yeah. Oh. This 29 is just squishing everything. I mean, Fox factory suspension ain't hurting none, but nice foot dab. Look at that, he foot dab. We didn't even slow down. <laughs> That's a professional foot dab. I mean, it's only tired from Canton, but it was nice. Oh, oh. Damn, this bike is so nimble, it's so crazy. Fox 38, 29, and I'm just being able to throw the bike into all these catch burps. That was a weird line. Oh, oh, cleared it both ways. <laughs> we actually cleared down the way up. I actually won lunch by uh, clearing that on the way up. Oh. Seth's up there. Yeah, Tyler, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm hitting stuff, not even know it's there. And the 2-9 the is just, just eating up any of the rocks. Pretty amazing. Nice little bit of blind riding. Wow, that, that rhododendron was just the shape of his shoulder when he fell. 
This is bread and butter for me out here. You know, Seth is getting it. Uh, Seth's getting it, so I feel like he, uh, when we get to lower, yeah. you guys better be prepared. I can tell he's feeling good today. So we just wrapped up Upper Black and it was going pretty fast. Really enjoyed it. I feel like the bike really performed well and I can't believe I waited this long to get on 29s. And overall, just amazing experience so far with this bike. Um, we were following Tyre from Canton, but now we're gonna move on <laughs> to Dave from Cane Creek, which is gonna be following Seth from Burn Peak. And uh, I think we actually have to do some climbing, so we're gonna cut you out and we'll bring bike back to the GoPro action once we get to the top, headed down Middle Black. <laughs> so we're officially at, we're about to start doing the descent on Middle Black. We've done 2,300 feet of climbing. Yeah, uh, yeah, 23-ish. 23 so uh, we're helming up. We're wearing full faces because we're gonna be going pretty fast. I always recommend you come out to Pisgah to have knee pads, gloves, and a full face because you never know how rowdy it's gonna get. But you're about to find out. Okay, so um, I'm bringing up the rear. Seth's, Seth's agenda to let Dave get out front and uh, put in some work. And I'm gonna be on his tail and join that flow trail. Uh, Seth's gonna be behind me cracking the whip and there's that guy from Canton. <laughs> yeah. I'll jump in there. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Dave was the, uh, Squirrely Dave was the guy from Snowshoe for a long time, which is hilarious. I love the leaves on the ground. Oh, 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 and this is me riding blind besides the guy in front of me. Never in any of this new trail yet. the roto tunnels oh, this bike is handling so well oh we're going fast I'm talking less but that'll catch up with speed there Oh. oh, the sun's coming out. Oh, shit. Just fell off the trail. Too close, falling too close. <laughs> I almost fell off the trail. <laughs> we'll have to catch up, won't we? Twenty-nine Yeti for the win. That's the sound of an SB50 eating up some Pisgah. He'll say this is like a blue trail, but uh, at speed, you're definitely taking some risk. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a weird one. <laughs> oh, was not ready for that turn. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes the fire roads look like regular trail.
Oh, it's so aggressive, I can't talk. But you, uh, you'll be able to follow the Strava and see how fast we're really going. Link in the description below. But let me just tell you, we are definitely going pretty fast. Uh, Holy shit. All right. He's got, they've got me being in shape while it's, it's wearing me out. Oh man. Is this a love pop? Nah, oh, don't touch him. Don't touch him. Dave. Not much into it. Dave. Woo, boy, got me some arm pump. Oh, got me yeah. that arm pump. I fell off the trail twice. Oh, yeah? Thanks for waiting up for me. <laughs> twice I went to the trail and I was like, oh, that's not where you gotta go. Switchbacks? <sighs> yeah. Switchback yeah. and then I went wide on one of the rock <laughs> gardens and I was just do 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 do. That was a, uh, yeah. That was the pace. That, yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was feeling like. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of breath. That was, that was nice work, <laughs> Mr. Kane Creek. <sighs> I'm trying to almost died. Did you hear that noise back there? Oh, nope. crap. You got a little... It's cool. It's like, friend. All right, so the plan was to follow Seth down, but we're having a mechanical. So we're changing plans. What happened? I just lost pressure in my front brake. Take this little boot off, and you can see there's a little oil coming out there. So either it's not torqued down all the way, or maybe the olive got crushed. We don't know what's going on, but... I'm gonna find out when I get home and be really careful on this because yeah, I have my lever to the bar and the bike is just <laughs> So, so we just followed Dave down, killer run there. And we followed Tyler down before, but me and Tyler, he's got me by 16 seconds on lower black. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna ride this blind and get them 16 seconds back while I drop him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a little mount up here I could have filmed you from, but so. it's in the car right now. My bad. We'll see. I mean, this 2.9, this 2.9 Yeti is really treating me well. I've been, I've lucked out a few times so far on this ride. Yeah, that's a sick ride there, boy. <laughs> oh, man. See if I can build up, stay off this brake and build up a little bit of pressure. Ooh, oh. that's scary. I, it's a little scary. I'm just going to, I'm just going to ride fun yeah. lines and kind of go slow and just not yeah. ever get up to a bad speed. So you guys just book it. Okay, so um, I'm officially riding this trail blind and I'm trying to beat the guy from Canton. <laughs> on the checkout so again if you guys check out on strava it'll be in the description below um let's get after it boys okay sure. <laughs> oh <sighs> here we go 16 seconds i'm gonna stay off the brakes i'm gonna stay smooth derailer out of the way start pumping The trail's really long, I don't want to start smashing my energy too early. Three back. That's a turn and a bridge and a rock guard. I got through that pretty good though. <laughs> All right. Oh. 
The question is, is it enough for 16 seconds from three years ago? I mean, I feel like I'm going pretty fast. But I don't know the trail. Run blind stuff. So I don't see anybody behind me, so I must be going pretty fast. Whoa! That was good. Nice building there. Holy shit. Definitely getting your workout on. Didn't ride that berm right. Get back in it. So I've been thinking about riding clips, but haven't been sold on it yet. But I did buy some mallets, some Crank Brothers mallets, and I have some shoes from when I raced cyclocross. So I do have the gear. I just gotta put it on. Can we come? I've just done all of my mountain biking has been more free ride than anything. Well, I was to say right there, 27.5, I might have ate it right there. Up, way up on the wall. Wow, this trail is super long. Oh. I don't even know what runs out. We're still going, so. Whew. Gotta keep paddling. 16 seconds, boys. 16 seconds. Every time I want to slow down, I gotta remember. 16 seconds. Whew. What was that 16 seconds? Let's count them. I couldn't hold on anymore. Huh? I couldn't hold on after one after. It was. I'm feeling pretty. You were moving. Huh? You were moving. Dude. I held you for like the first third and then I just put it on. You're crushing. <laughs> Dude, one spot. I was feeling the 29s oh, yeah. caught me right hit and it goes yeah. and I was like 27.5 I would have oh, yeah. I would have gone. Yeah. No, that's super <sighs> that was uh I'm <sighs> that was like the perfect amount of break for my arms to get rid of the arm pump and then get back on the bike. Like, like I got T-Rex hands. Yeah. Show, you got T-Rex hands, you got T-Rex arms? Yeah, I always got T-Rex arms. Uh, and that was a, uh, wow. Felt good though. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Like, uh, that was a crazy today. Sure. Oh yeah. Mr. No Brakes. Made you made it clean. Yeah, I stopped using the brake like halfway down. I was just using my ring. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, pretty scary one with no front brake. Yeah, but uh, it's still fun. Good day when you're out on the trail. Uh, Great riding. Yeah, thanks for the invite. Tyler from Canton. <laughs> yeah. Dave from Cane Creek. Oh. oh, I have such bad T-Rex hands. I thought I clicked it. Okay, so <laughs> we actually came to Mills River to have a little recovery beverages. Thanks, Seth. Thanks, Dave, for coming on the ride. Tyler didn't come with us, but uh, don't forget, pedal a little harder and don't hit the brakes.